Hi guys, I'm Brooke and this is Pippa and we travel full time out of my 2011 Honda Pilot. We have been on the road now for almost three years and I have an update for you on my favorite subject, which is actually honestly one of my funniest subjects that people ask me about is how do you go to the bathroom living out of a vehicle and here I am almost a year later from my original video to update you on my pee situation yes I am loud and I am proud about how I go pee in this car every single day at night in the middle of the night in the morning what device I use my secret hacks everything and I have found the holy grail pee item and I am not going to make you wait to tell you what it is but I do want to say this video is really only going to be about the setup I have right now. I made a video about a year ago that is I think my most viewed video on this channel which is kind of I guess a, an accomplishment an embarrassment I don't know really at this point uh, but it is my most viewed video all about bathroom solutions about car camping and camping in general bathrooms that I've used over the years and it's a pretty comprehensive video and so I still want to recommend that if you want a different option than this but at the very end of that video I said that my favorite method to use for pee specifically was a pee cup just like a standard one from the gas station it was my favorite thing to use it was a wide mouth it was something that was affordable something that you could either clean up and reuse or you could just get a new one if something happened to it and it wasn't a big deal well we all know 2022 happened and inflation is upon us and I don't know if you guys have noticed this but gas station cups have gotten really thin the plastic ones that used to be super durable have gotten super super thin and it has actually made my pee cup experience kind of lackluster <laughs> which is not something I thought that I would be making a video on in my early 30s but you know what here we are so I had to kind of come up with a new solution because of the poor gas station cup quality <laughs> I was like breaking cups all the time. They were cracking, so then they were leaking, and it was becoming not so much my favorite solution anymore. And I have this new car, even though it is a used car, and I didn't want to ever spill in here or have any like accidents like I'm the dog. And so I decided that I would go on a mission to find the new perfect pee cup. So over the last, I don't know, month, two months, I have been searching for the perfect combination and I have found it and it's less than $2. So I'm going to tell you right now what it is. It's this guy right here, right here. This I will leave linked below. I found it at Walmart don't worry I literally just washed it out um so it's okay that I'm touching it but it is a canning funnel from Walmart it was like a dollar 97 I think quote me if I'm wrong I am gonna tell you all the reasons I love it but I just picked this up at Walmart for literally a dollar 97 which is not the like dollar nine or whatever a gas station thing cup is anymore but this is obviously like much harder plastic and this isn't going to break as easily and I love the fact that it can fit into so many different jars so the one that I use it in same thing I just rinse this out I just got this mason jar it's the um pioneer woman one it's like one that had a straw in it um it's a glass mason jar I'm so sorry pioneer woman that I pee into your merchandise but it was on sale at Walmart and they kind of matched so I thought it was cute but because it is a canning funnel it fits perfectly into the top of a mason jar I picked one with a handle because same thing in the middle of the night you know 
you're a little tired I wanted to have a good grip on the mason jar and it fits in there like pretty tight if you like push it down and so it just like doesn't accidentally fall out or anything like that obviously like you can take it out it's not like it's that difficult but it's not it's made for this sized jar specifically to you know fill a mason jar of stuff if you're canning but obviously you're peeing and so same thing this is glass so it's much more durable plastic super easy to clean glass super easy to clean I like the square bottom it does not fit into a cup holder in my car which I originally liked the gas station one for or like the duct tape thing that I had um but I just keep this in a Tupperware bin I'll show it on the screen here so if it does splash or anything like that it goes into the Tupperware bin and it doesn't spill it into the car but I really am not driving around with like a full cup of pee obviously you can take the funnel off and you can put a mason jar lid on top if you are having to drive which I do have a lid back there as well so that works plus this size of a ring fits into a Nalgene bottle, it fits into regular cups, it fits into so many different cups, and when you're peeing into it, it has a wide enough mouth, but then it also lets out that airflow. It's not like a teeny, tiny, teeny funnel like some of those like silicone pee devices are, where if you get the suction wrong, it's just like shoot out the sides. You know what I'm talking about if you've ever had that happen to you. It's like awful. Um, and same thing, if you don't get it super lined up right, like while you're squatting over it, because I use this to squat. I guess I should say that. I don't stand up and try to use this. I squat behind the seat right here um, when I have to go in the middle of the night or in the car. Or if I go outside and I don't want splashback, I'm squatting. I'll show you. <laughs> don't worry I have no shame um but you don't have to get it perfectly lined up right with your bits like the silicone ones because it is a, that wider mouth and so same thing you're not having to worry about like the drips the drizzles and getting pee everywhere um so this has been my favorite thing I have ever used in my entire life mostly because I can fit it into a mason jar um, I can fit it into a Nalgene if I want to put a cap on it. I can fit it into like literally any other size water bottle I have or cup or anything in the car if there is an emergency. Both of these items are super affordable and they're super durable. So this is it. This is the setup I have been using. I know you guys love your... Um, what a ton of people said in the last video they like using laundry detergent like leftover laundry detergent um bottles same thing i'm pretty sure this canning uh funnel would fit in there and this obviously isn't as like huge of a funnel or as small of a funnel as some of the auto funnels that people have been talking about so same thing I think you could use this as well I will leave this linked I don't have an affiliate link for this exact product just walk into Walmart and go get it uh, because it's the cheapest if you just go to Walmart and get it and so <laughs> why not but if you are set on ordering something I do have some dupes of this listed on Amazon one that I have listed on Amazon has different bottoms you can fit to fit into different type of bottles so if you need to fit it into like a smaller water bottle or something like that you can put those different like attachments on the bottom and they have a stainless steel version if you don't like using plastic so there's my spiel on the Amazon link but this is just at Walmart so this isn't like a hot item that's like <laughs> really hard to get it's literally just in the canning aisle at Walmart and I think most people have a mason jar or have a water bottle that this would fit into that's why I really loved this setup because I know I could recommend it to you guys and most people would be able to use it like right away because I don't know when you have a good pee set up you want to tell people about it <laughs> But I literally have not had a problem since I've been using this and it makes me 
so excited. Obviously, it's super easy to clean. I just leave a spray bottle of soapy water in the back so I can just like spray it down really quick and wipe it out with a baby wipe. And then same thing with this. I just rinse it out after I spray some soapy water into there. And then it doesn't matter if I even rinse it that well because obviously you're peeing into it. So sometimes I just spray soapy water in there to keep the smell down. Same thing. You can put a lid on it we've upgraded the system. So I hope this helps some of you guys to pee better in your vehicles or while you're camping. I hope you have a fantastic pee experience and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye!